In the early days, Spotify's architecture was monolithic, with tightly coupled components handling everything from users' playlists to music recommendations. This structure made it difficult for teams to work independently. Changes in one part of the application could easily impact other parts, slowing down development and deployment. And to solve these bottlenecks, Spotify embraced service decomposition, breaking down their monolith into smaller, more manageable microservices. And each of these microservices were designed around specific business capabilities, like the playlist management, recommendation algorithms, or music delivery. This allowed individual teams to own and manage their respective services, improving both productivity and agility. For instance, the playlist service became its own microservice. This allowed Spotify engineers to iterate quickly and adding new features like collaborative playlists and personalized recommendations without affecting other parts of the system. Like Netflix, Spotify also benefited from independent scaling. So during peak usage, such as when a new album drops or user floods with platform for a major event, Spotify can scale only the services that needs it, like the music streaming service. This prevents over-provisioning and ensures efficient resource use.